hello everyone this is a second video from exchange uh, series and today i am specifically i'm going to talk about exchange mailbox and only mailbox all the settings i'm going to cover uh, in this video so please watch uh, till the end okay now we have to go and come on this page admin.microsoft.com login with your hoppy 365 admin account uh, if you log in with the global admin, it's very perfect. Uh, let's go to the exchange. Now, since you know the exchange admin center is upgraded or it is on the new uh, portal now, you see this is the new uh, new portal and the classic exchange admin center is here. I can click and I'll show you the little bit comparison. So this is a, like a previous uh, classic old uh, exchange admin center. This is how it was look and now uh, this is the way uh, it is looking right it is you can see this is a new look of exchange admin center so we are not going to talk about the old exchange admin center because anyways uh, it's going to go away in a few days few months right so we don't uh, I'm not going to go there and uh, show you any setting from the cl classic exchange admin center today I'll talk about the mailbox they have shuffle again they have shuffle few here there all the settings and the settings and tabs so it make more sense now okay now when it comes to the mailbox uh, now you can create a shared mailbox and user mailbox from here but in the previous section admin center there was a two different tab for creating a shared mailbox and the mailbox you can you you were able to see in a different tab but now you can see in the same 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 pan now uh, now you don't you're, now you don't see the shared mailbox here because i don't i don't have one but i will show the user mailbox since, since uh, this part like uh, this uh, scope of this video is just talk about the user mailbox so i have a user mailbox here right here so i'll quickly i'll open my mailbox and i'll show you all the settings and all the tabs and each component where you can use and what uh, purpose of that and, uh, and I'll show you some used cases uh, while we are going progressing this video uh, so you can understand where you can use in your organization so let's start okay so when you open this mailbox amol power okay this is my my mailbox and uh, when you can see this uh, contact information everything so sometimes you get a uh, uh, request okay from the department if you want to add some contact information for any particular user then uh, this is the right place okay you can come here contact information and you can change the display or the last name or anything title you can go here and you can update job title department office you know this these things keep changing job title uh, department sometimes office sometimes if they are shuffling somewhere right and uh, you can see the clearly that office and mobile phone numbers can't be updated here so you need to go on the active directory portal so when when we are talking about the active directory that time i will show you how to update the user contact information there and uh, all that stuff but other other things you pretty much you can manage from here uh, city and everything this information is required uh, because uh, when we create a dynamic group or dynamic security group that time we might that time we might need this information so i am going to uh, put this it job title it manager mm. okay let me give myself as a manager role department it and office i'll just put this for me okay the mobile number i will not put right away city not required everything is good okay i'll just keep this safe and there is, there is another section was here uh, which is useful again okay when you do this this is notes right when you can uh, make uh, any changes and uh, like sometimes it happens that uh your manager send a request okay and uh, someone from the the higher authority uh, send the message okay you please uh, change this user's uh, title or the location something like you can keep a record here okay you can uh by uh, something you can type like uh, by manager and uh, save something you can put so it will be easy this that information is not visible to anyone uh, in your organization only it it can see that so this that information very useful you know that way hide from global address list is basically uh, hiding email email id from 
organization within the organization you can hide the email id so that uh, a user uh, should not know if there is a, such a account is created uh, it is based on like it's it's because of some security reason or the company requirement but you can uh, but it it, it 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 does not uh, restrict uh, any sender from sending that email to that account okay it just in uh, a create uh, or it just in uh, a hide that email id it will not show up uh, in their address list okay now the email address okay again this is like sometimes you uh, need a multiple uh, email id for the same person and that time you can add like i will add the uh, uh, name oh. power and i will pick this put this and save and save okay so i'll go back here and you clearly see the capital smtp is my default uh, reply id reply address from this whenever i going to send the email from my mailbox uh the recipient will see my this id because it is a capital smtp this is the way it is uh, defined so amol at the rate easy first security.com but i can change this to uh, this also by going edit here and set as a primary email id i can set this okay and you can see this it's become a my primary I, if i save this it will show up here as a my primary email id it's different power easy first security.com all right so i'll just go back okay so now you understand you can how you can add the email id uh different email id to the one person uh this power is should be the unique in the organization okay you cannot add power to two or three different users okay this is kind of a unique unique uh, word should be there mailbox usage uh it shows the what is the size of your mailbox and the uh, when the last time a user logged in that is also shows here then there is a app settings uh, where the how and how many protocols are enabled so you can clearly you can go because these are the deprecated protocols okay and they are no more in use so you can just go and disable these two now organization manage information you can update uh, these are the information who's your manager if you uh, i can add my manager as a another a test user like okay. i'll go with the test user and i save so I have to refresh the page and let's go back to the organization in the manager you can see this is uh, grid, uh, grid uh, for the manager and this is the way it's a look uh, but you can clearly you can go to the Azure Active Directory and uh, you can see uh, the manager is a test user okay you can see that uh, from the Azure Active Directory portal uh, okay let's go back to my pop-up and okay now we are on the our delegation okay so now what is the difference between this delegation send okay in the in the delegation now you s always you see this send as and send on behalf and read and manage and there is a purpose of this okay different purpose of uh, all these three okay so send as is basically uh, you can send a email to the recipient um, on the b uh, from the user's mailbox okay and uh, send on behalf that you same thing you can send an email on the behalf of the user but when you send an email to recipient the recipient will see the email id that is coming from the test user like okay i will do the testing with the test user so whenever you send an email to the any recipient the recipient will see that user the email you send by amul power but on the behalf of the the particular user okay from the test user but when it sent as the recipient cannot be recognized like uh, recipient will not know that who has sent this email like it will show us that email is came came from the test user i will quickly i'll show you the send on behalf i have added that setting in the test user okay so when you go to the test users delegation i given the test user delegation to amol okay so quickly i'll go here um i'll open the my outlook and i will create one email and i will send this email to uh who i'll, I'll send this email to myself only uh, amol at the first and the taste mail from taste user okay so i'm sending this email from the taste user 
and uh, I have selected taste user and uh, interestingly if you don't know how to do this uh, you can go to the options and uh, go to the here and show the form okay uh, show from and from there you can choose and go here and uh, where you got the setting is like I got the setting on the taste user I can I want to send email from the taste user right I can click here taste and okay so it will put that email ID in from from field okay I want to send email from taste user to the amol power and the subject line is this so I'm quickly seeing this and now you will see when I receive the email you will see the taste user okay the, see email Amol power sent email on behalf of taste user. This is the difference. If I had the setting uh, send as, then the Amol power on behalf of that that word is will not be there. It will it only shows that the taste user email came from the taste user. But right now what I done is I send the email from my mailbox, but on the behalf of the taste user. But this is the difference. Okay, so. Okay, so you got the test user here and then I'll quickly go back on the exchange and open my mailbox and yeah, so you know the delegation read and the <coughs> sorry read and the manage is the basically uh, the it will give you the full access like your mailbox like uh, okay, now this is my archive mailbox but the same way it will shows like like this is my AMOL at the easy first security.com this way it will shows the all the taste users mailbox right here in this okay so so you will have like a full ownership of that mailbox you can read you can manage and everything but in other two send as and send on behalf you cannot see the whatever the emails are incoming okay you cannot check a uh, taste users mailbox right you only you can send email out but you cannot whatever the emails are coming in you cannot see that okay you cannot so you cannot see those emails right so what this is the main difference let's go to the next mailbox tab okay message message size restrictions is currently a 35 mb uh, for receive and send and you can also uh, increase up to 150 mb for each mailbox uh, email forwarding again you can put this uh, okay from these settings uh, you can forward any email to anyone uh, by putting the name like uh, I can put the test user okay and keep a copy of forwarding email in this mailbox okay so I'll just go back this is the difference and the delivery restrictions it's it's uh, not required it's if there is any specific reason that you want to uh, receive email from the specific specific uh, sender then you can uh, make a change I uh, change you can you can make a change here like uh, all sender you can accept uh, all senders uh, email in your mailbox otherwise you can select this and you can okay uh, if it is very top management person or any accounting something or uh, maybe uh, for example uh, there is a there is one email id that uh, sends email to all users in the company right so that time you can make that decision okay not only uh, amol uh, sorry only the yeah only Amol can uh, make a or he can you he can only send this email okay and uh, he only can send this email to my this ID right so that time you can make this decision okay you can put these restrictions okay only uh, this particular sender can send this email to this ID otherwise others uh, emails will be rejected block message from same uh, you can select and you can block uh, any particular user you don't want to uh, take email or receive email from that user okay that time also you can block and then um, there is a mailbox policy okay mailbox policy uh, specifically I'm if I'm talking about the retention policy uh, I will talk this I will uh, I will show this all the settings and everything in my upcoming video because this this is uh, altogether is a different topic uh, how you can uh, maintain this retention policy how you can create a retention policy how can you archive your, archive your emails and what is the best practice you can uh, implement in your organization to maintain or keep mailbox uh, very much under limit you know under the size so 
so you you need to make that decision it's very uh, a long topic and it's very deep topic so i will discuss that topic in some some another video upcoming video not not uh, not too late okay and let's go to the other where you see custom attributes again this attributes is required when you create a dynamic group so in the dynamic group we need to create a lot of queries that and need to target specific user that time you can uh, create this custom attributes and you can put something here and based on that query we can uh, uh, based on that best sorry based on that query we can uh, make a group of those those uh, mailboxes so again yeah so member of again uh, what is a member of like where this user is member of any distribution or any kind of a group it will show up here now right now there is no nothing so it, it's not showing automatic reply again when the user is user is going on a leave or uh, uh, doing something or you want to inform that okay thanks thanks for sending an email and we will or our team will get uh, uh, reach out to you as soon as possible this kind of a message you can put and you can put here and all sender and make a decision you know as per your requirement okay this these settings you can put here then there is a uh, another convert to shared mailbox if you want to uh, convert okay let me convert this one because this again this is uh, okay you can just convert this mailbox and confirm it's hardly take a uh, 30 seconds yeah see it's converted so you can convert this mailbox to the user refresh and you can see the shared mailbox it's converted to shared mailbox you don't need a license you can remove straight away you can remove the license from this user and that's it and okay let's go back and see if, if i'm missing anything recipient limit again it's a very important uh, sometimes uh, sales department or our uh, uh, yeah sales department basically send out the email or communication uh, to the all user or in the market also so that time they they send lot of uh, emails out and uh, microsoft they, there is a 500 uh, limit okay so and you can raise up to uh, you can you can increase up to 1000 emails but there is a caveat and there is a limitation okay when you go here and see the receive limit is uh, receive limit is uh, 3600 and uh, it it's it's uh, almost uh, same for the all all uh, license and uh, when you go down and there is a sending limit it is a 10000 recipient per day okay so maximum 10000 you can send and uh, customizable up to 1000 okay and there is again the caveat okay the so message rate limit 30 message per minute okay so yeah if you blocked by that limit okay if you your mailbox is blocked by this limit and uh, there is a one way you can uh, whitelist so if you know please put them put their put that answer in the comment section otherwise i will tell you uh, in uh, my next video uh, okay i'll come to set and there is a mailbox tips when you uh, want to put any information here okay that time on the leave so or if you want to contact me uh, please uh, reach out to any manager because i am on the leave Th that kind of a message you can put here and it will show up whenever the user any user from our organization try to send the email to you uh, that that little bit of small uh, blue a uh, free small yellow color pop up will come and it will tell them okay this is the message and that you can put and yeah this is all from the mailbox and uh, quickly uh, there is a c there is a again you can manage multiple things from your mailbox settings you can limit the size restrictions for the particular users okay uh, you can put that size restrictions for particular email you can do the email forwarding for all users or the specific user to someone and the de delivery restrictions also you can change from here then there is a uh, mailbox delegation things you can make that change okay that was because that's shared mailbox okay so i can give that and from here you can see the full and send and send on behalf access i can put and give the permission to the all users okay and then there is a set limit the recipient limit that is a by default is a 500 but you can uh, raise or increase up to 1000 if you just confuse what are the settings and everything just keep uh, refreshing button okay there is a refresh button just keep refreshing till the time you recall what to do okay <laughs> thanks thanks for watching this video and i'll see you in the next video please please uh, let me know if i'm missing anything or 
you want to uh, you want to know more on any settings i will uh, i will definitely i will create a video for you thanks thanks for watching thank you bye bye thanks for watching please subscribe the channel thank you bye bye